Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to create a Power Automate flow that integrates Jira with Microsoft Teams so that when we mark an issue as done, it will post an issue status update in a Teams channel. So to start, let's create a new flow. This will be an automated cloud flow. And let's give our flow a title. And we'll call this post Jira issue status to Teams. And we need a trigger. If you search Jira, it'll give you some options. And the one we want is when an issue is closed. Let's click Create. Then select your project from the drop down menu. You can search for it to filter it down. Once you've selected your project, click New Step. Our next step is going to be a Teams action. The specific one that we're looking for is post message in a Teams chat or channel. So if we search by Teams, and then we can filter it down. So we want to post a message, post message in a chat or channel. Now it's going to ask us to select um, which, uh, what type of, um, or where to post. So we're going to select channel. Now it's going to ask for which channel and select your channel and then your channel ID. Now we can create the post. So what I want to include in here is um, our project name. So that's the first thing that I want to post. So let's search for project name. So this would be issue project name. Let's add a space in between here and the rest of the content of our post. I want to add the issue title. In this case, what we're looking for in the dynamic content is issue summary. This gives us the title of the issue. The next thing I want is the issue description. Let's search for that. Probably that's issue description. So let's use that. I also want to give a link to the issue. So that's going to be issue URL. URL. I also want to know who this issue was assigned to. So let's look for a sign E and we have display name of the person is assigned to. So this would be issue, assignee, display name. And I also want to give the status. And of course, this is only going to post issue information for issues that are closed, AKA marked as done. So what we need is issue status name. Here we go. And let's just make this bold here. And I also want to make the project name bold. So we can highlight that and click bold. Let's go ahead and save and let's test this out. So I'm going to hop over to Jira and I already have a um, Jira issue that's ready to be marked as done. Let's go ahead and mark this as done. I marked it as done. Going to hop back over here and it'll take, um, might take a minute or two um, to run, but we'll wait and we'll see what it looks like over in our Teams channel. Let's refresh here. And we can see that it ran. Duration took one second. Let's see what it looks like in Teams. Here's our Teams channel. And here we can see where it posted our issue update. So here we can see it gave us the title of our issue, the description, the link to the issue, it, uh, who it was assigned to, and the status. This did not come over as a link, so we'll have to take a look at that. When I tested it earlier, it did come over as a link, 
and it works. I'm not sure why it didn't work here, but we'll take a look at that and um, resolve that issue. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. So glad you could explore this Jira and Power Automate flow with me today. Um, let me know in the comments how you use Jira and Power Automate together to manage your projects. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day. Bye-bye.